a day today and the rain is holding off to start the next week. I know you're so happy I'm about that. I'm so happy. Look I brought that. the sunshine with me with my yellow tonight. There you go. And there's going to be more of it for tomorrow, Tuesday okay. and Wednesday. Really not going to see the chance for rain returning until Thursday, Natisha. So you'll have to get out and enjoy it. I like it. All right, let's check it out here. We're going to kick off tomorrow morning with some areas of patchy fog, plenty of sunshine towards the afternoon and evening hours and a warmer day than we had for today. We had a high of 75. Our normal for this time of the year is 81. We'll be right at that for our tomorrow but heating up even more towards the middle and the end of the week. A live look now at Uptown Charlotte. We've got a mostly clear sky out there after hitting a high of 75 today and temperatures still holding into the upper 60s. So it'll be a bit of a mild night for tonight. A little bit cooler, of course, across the mountains. But look at this warming trend headed our way. 81 for tomorrow, 84 on Tuesday and some mid to upper 80s as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. Shower and thunderstorm chances headed our way towards the end of the week going into next weekend. So that's going to drop those temperatures down just a little bit. But big story tonight has been those severe thunderstorms out to our west across portions of Kansas on into Oklahoma, where they've had several severe thunderstorms that have been producing tornadoes. But we get to enjoy some quiet and dry conditions courtesy of this area of high pressure. It's going to continue to build across the southeast at least for the next 24 to 48 hours. So we'll keep it mostly clear for tonight with all that moisture that we have in the air, though. That's going to allow that fog to develop mainly after midnight. But future cast keeping it quiet and dry. Plenty of sunshine by the daylight hours and a few stray showers, mainly across the mountains. We're not expecting a soaking rainfall, but just keep that umbrella handy for those isolated showers that do develop and even warming up even more getting into Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see a couple more disturbances pushing our way towards Thursday and Friday, so the rain chances will start to ramp up to about 30 to 40 percent. We're not looking at widespread rainfall again, though. Hit or miss showers and thunderstorms will be possible. Low tonight of 54. That's what we'll be by tomorrow morning as well. Some upper 50s across most of the Charlotte metro area. But I do want to point out if you have an early morning commute, we're looking at poor visibility tomorrow morning, especially across the mountains, getting into the foothills where you see that visibility will be dropping down to zero for Boone and West Jefferson down to four miles in Charlotte. But once we start to warm it up during the early morning hours, that fog will be dissipating. And from there, we're left behind with those temperatures gradually warming up into the lower 80s by tomorrow afternoon. Let's check out your seven day forecast here. Plenty of warmth. In the seven day forecast up to 84 on Tuesday, plenty of sunshine, partly cloudy 87 on Wednesday. Then here come those chances for showers and thunderstorms as we wrap up the weekend head towards the weekend. The hottest day this week will be on Thursday with a high of 88 and I wouldn't be surprised if we get a couple of lower 90s across the upstate of South Carolina. That's a look at your first alert seven day forecast. We'll be right back.